are the prize. You are the prize. Not settling for less than what I know I deserve. Just remember that you are the prize. And she got Steve Harvey through his bodyguard, whom she had a relationship with. So she too has a history of jumping from one man to another. And now we see the same pattern repeating with her own daughter, her only daughter. The apple didn't fall far from the tree. Marjorie Harvey, Laurie Harvey, and Steve Harvey telling Marjorie Harvey, you are the price. She's the price, of course. And we've seen her selling. She's selling. And we can all see that she is doing, like, giving her good advice to follow her footsteps and she's doing that she was in a very serious relationship and engagement everyone was so happy because they were such a gorgeous couple she and michael b jordan and steve harvey was going on podcast talking about how michael b jordan is a good man for her and he's so proud that she made that kind of choice you know and all of a sudden the the engagement crashed why because Marjorie Harvey is pulling the strings. She's telling her daughter that, no, that's not the kind of man I want for you. I want you to get the back. You should be after the back, not after the men, but the back. So the, the, the slogan that you are the price means that you as a woman needs to chase the back and not the man. And we've seen Steve Harvey mentioning this, saying it in almost all his shows that telling women, advising women that they are the prize. Girl, you are not the prize. Don't follow what Steve Harvey is telling you. You're not the prize. If you, you try to be the prize, you will definitely end, end up like Marjorie Harvey and Lori Harvey. And you will pass it on to your daughters just like genetics and DNA is being passed on. Trust me, you have this repeated pattern of a vicious circle and it will never end. Train your daughters to be responsible, to, to stick with one man and to be family oriented. Because if you train your daughters to be family oriented, if, for instance, Lori Harvey was trained to be family oriented, Lori Harvey would have been settled in Michael B. Jordan's home and they would have had a lovely and beautiful family because they were so beautiful they were an absolutely beautiful couple trust me but i was shocked that it crashed in just like a very short time why because when you turn around you look at lori hubby where she comes from she comes from a broken home a broken home her stepdad steve hubby who is supposed to put the broken pieces together is the one shattering the glass. She is telling her that you are the prize girl, go for the bag. And we can see that, we can see when Steve Harvey followed her to a boat trip with who? With PDD. And she's got a scandal about meeting PDD's son, having an affair with him. And then she, she saw that, okay, his son doesn't have the back, but the dad got the bigger back. So I'm heading for the big back. She dumped the son and went on to the dad. And her parents were there. Come on. Who does that? Who does that? Steve Harvey. And you all, when I put up a video here talking about Steve Harvey, how he belongs to the street, you come here to tell me to shut it up. No, girl. I'm not going to sit quiet. If you can't call him out, I'm here to call him out. Steve Harvey belongs to the street because that's the kind of advice you give to the women in the streets. He is the pimp. He is pimping his stepdaughter, Lori Harvey. And we all know that Steve Harvey has been accused time without number that he, he, he pampers, he places so much attention to his stepdaughter more than his twin daughters, more than his biological daughters. Of course, so many conspiracies have come up and people say that his biological daughters don't have the looks, you know? And, they, and, and when they compare the daughters to Lori Harvey, Lori Harvey is almost a 10 and Steve Harvey is using her 
to get the back from the from the big guns of Hollywood and anywhere else. So why would he try to tell his daughter that she is the prize? The only reason is that he is the pimp and she is one of her girls. And he is telling her and warning her that, girl, you need to go for the back because you are the prize. <laughs> My ladies, don't take this advice. Trust me, you're not the prize. Why would you put a tag on yourself? Work on yourself. Get your, your, your degrees. Get a good job. Earn your own money because there is pride in being financially sufficient as a woman.